This idea of the past is the past. Let's remember that to remind someone that we are still at war is not bringing up the past. Now, you can do this with a positive assumption. If I was to imagine my mother doing this process, she would come up to me and say, Oh, Maurice, you've always been so amazing. You have probably been winning your battles ever since you graduated from Sons of Helaman. How do you do it? Accountability doesn't have to be a follow you around and ask you if you're doing your basics. This mom just set up an accountability conversation. This son is now in a position to describe to you the process he uses to retain his success in a position of bragging about it instead of being treated like a child. He will now tell you, oh, it is awesome. I do this and I do this and I do this. Now, let me tell you a secret about men that you may not know. They are easily embarrassed by looking stupid. I don't, you probably had no clue on that, right? None of you had any idea that that was happening. The nice thing about asking the question this way, if you let him, he will fill in the blanks of what he's not doing to win his battles and re-fortify his plan by saying, and I do this, and you know he's not doing it, but now he's reminded himself that he needs to be doing that. And I read my scriptures... I will be reading my scriptures every day. I will be because I, that's how I win. And I've been doing it almost every day, which means one out of 10 days, right? Everybody knows that almost every day means one out of 10. If you're finding this video helpful or want to help us reach others in need, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really supports our channel. Thank you. Do you know how often men have to lie to themselves? Let me give you an example of caveman days. See that saber tooth tiger over there? I have a sharp stick and I'm wearing a loincloth and I'm going to go kill that saber tooth tiger to feed my family. Idiots, right? Do you want to hear another funny one? I'm a 23 year old man. I can take a woman into my life and treat her like a wife and I can raise a family. Do you know how crazy that idea is? We have to use the gift of excessive confidence, excessive confidence, or we cannot do our work. When you ask them, tell me what you're doing to win your battles. Tell me how this works. How do you stay motivated? Don't say, how, do you, how are you going to stay motivated? That's a assume the negative comment. How do you stay motivated? It's so amazing. And when, you're, when you really need to give it some background, say, I have never been a 19-year-old boy before. I've never been a 22-year-old boy before. How do you overcome it when you crash and burn and you bounce back? How do you do that? So you can always ask with sincerity, because you've never been a 16 year boy before. You cannot say, I know how you feel. Okay, you cannot say that. Put them in a position to brag. That works really well for men. Even if they're stretching the truth, it reminds them of what they need to do. Do we not believe that they will turn out good? Do we think that they have to be corralled like sheep in order to want to be good people? Look at yourselves, so many of you had unfortunate mothers or unfortunate fathers or unfortunate siblings and look how good you turned out.